Hi folks, my name is Rockman Pat and I'm with Northwest Treasures. Now today the subject is how to collect and store your rocks. Now this is uh, this is quite a subject here because typically what uh, families experience is they have rocks all over the place. They're in their dresser drawers, they're in stored in toy boxes, they're stored well I have to admit here in back of our house <laughs> in buckets, although my wife made me empty the buckets. So you can see I've got rocks stored everywhere, but I'm gonna give you a few practical tips today on how to not break the bank when you're storing the rocks that you have in those special treasures. Learn you wanna come back and visit them again and again. So I'm gonna start here down at this end and uh, you can get as complicated and uh, uh, as you want in this whole business. You can also get as expensive as you want. Some of the ways that people store rocks, very expensive. But I think there are some relatively inexpensive ways to do this. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. For stuff that is real fine or uh, you know, kind of maybe you want to have some special spotlight on it or something. This is a magnifier. It's a one inch square box. And uh, so you can put some of your precious stones in there and then you can magnify them for people to see. Th those are really a lot of fun, but they are expensive. And then there are places where you can get cardboard boxes or specimen boxes like this. And uh, you can get them quite small, I think down to one inch by one inch. Uh, or you can get them to be quite large. You can also get uh, larger cardboard boxes to hold them all. So that's kind of a neat way. But again, there's some expense involved in that. And as you can see from the condition of the box, unless you can keep them fairly uh, clean and you can keep them from moving all the time, well, uh, they're gonna get bent up. Uh, one of the ways that I used to uh, package all my rock kits were in these plastic boxes, attractive plastic boxes. Uh, the problem with these is a couple. One is they're expensive, and two, if you happen to drop it, uh, forget your nice looking box. They will crack very easily. But uh, this is also very attractive. Now, the signs, kids are getting so adept at using the computer today, they can uh, create their own labels and you can even get creative with the uh, color coding. Um, you have collections of different rocks before rock types you can have four different colors representing the rock types which is what I do here. You can also get uh, cardboard uh, mounts or boxes. These are a little less expensive and they're kind of nice although the uh, you want to get more little spaces you have to get bigger boxes and as you do that the spaces get smaller so they can kind of be inconvenient but they're they're attractive they're uh, scientific looking and they're quite hardy but again you can use those and uh, make your own uh, you know identification key uh, again, just use a Word document and create your own table. You can get as fancy with this as you want. Fancy lettering. Uh, kids are really creative, so let them, let them do their creativity. For fossils, these kind of uh, containers really work well because fossils can get rather small. And in the plastic boxes, they will also look very, very nice in there. Uh, these are these can range two three bucks a piece on up to several dollars the bigger you get now you can also do what I've done down here is uh, these plastic shoe boxes are really handy I've got uh, a few thousand of these <laughs> in my garage and they make nice storage areas if you've got multiples of something and uh, you want to keep them together you don't really want to separate them out. See, I've got a combination here of, of uh, those little specimen boxes plus baggies. 
and uh, that doesn't take much work and you can also keep them then um, identified and you can keep them together you don't have to worry about getting them um, separated and lost so those are you know those can be expensive but they're also very nice they're one size so you can create your own uh, shelving space and put those together I think the funnest for the kids is just simply using a standard egg carton this one is uh, 18 eggs some of you uh, have six you know that's fine you can do them various sizes some you can get what um, a couple dozen eggs um, or a dozen eggs so these are these are really handy they're cheap uh, and you can do all kinds of things with them again get very creative on your coloring you can cr uh, paint the whole box you can put little pictures on them you can glue things onto them as, as far as what the box represents you can label the box and uh, these make handy storage areas and while kids are growing up of course they're going to drop these a few times and you don't have to worry about them breaking or cracking you can just replace them so a i really like egg cartons for kids here's one that i've done uh, just painted it again you can you can paint them any color you like um, and this is a basic rock types kit the um, samples can be larger in an egg carton so if you have some big bigger rocks they won't fit in some of these smaller containers use an egg carton it allows you to um, to be real ingenious with the size of the specimens especially if you want them uh, to be you want to preserve the bigger ones you don't want to just throw them in a box and there's the label again I used my color coding uh, system uh, but these are these make great collections and with the different colors on the boxes you can do you can also store them that way so you come into your closet and on the shelf or wherever you have them stored you've you know which box is going to contain which rocks because they're painted or colored a certain color so these make nice collections they're easy to keep you don't have to worry about damaging these you just have to worry about losing the rocks which happens a lot uh, anyway uh, these are these are different ways that I use to um, store my different fossils and rocks and minerals and uh, just makes collecting a lot of fun I have some of the more expensive things I've done through the years I even have a couple of cabinets with drawers in them that have these kinds of boxes different sizes and the, and the drawers now are all labeled uh, particular minerals or fossils or rocks but again that's very expensive but if you're going to keep them for a long time rocks of course don't really deteriorate uh, they are you know they maintain their shapes and their colors so long as you uh, take care of them and don't allow them to get uh, trampled on or broken and uh, then you can always just pull out a box and trade them with your friends uh, anyway this is a great great hobby for kids and if they can learn to identify them and organize them uh, they can have not only a lot of fun but uh, uh, they can learn a lot and this is just a great great hobby for a kid let me tell you this hobby kept me out of trouble in uh, junior high and high school I can assure you that I time my time was occupied with this kind of stuff and I learned a lot it got me into reading making notes a lot of disciplines that I didn't know I was developing you can develop through a collection like this so kind of similar if you have stamp collecting or coin collecting you know you're you're wanting to uh, figure out how to organize them well it's the same way with rocks and fossils as well so I hope you have fun pick up some lessons here some ideas uh, a lot of fun to do this kind of stuff and hope you enjoy it.